glory of the one crucified. Hallelujah. Send out the news. With courage. Send out the news of how he loved. His only glory, how he suffered and died. Hallelujah. Send out the gospel. News. Oh, send the gospel message over the land that all may hear the matchless story. How Jesus bled, for us was crucified, I'll send it out, but none reflect it. Oh, let it ring throughout all nations, I pray, and let them know of this salvation today. My brother, ever keep working, singing, she's too. The master bring and send out the gospel. You know it. I love that song. I love that song. It's a drum beat in my heart, a drum beat in my mind, a drum beat in my soul that we're to send out the gospel news. Listen, if we don't send it out, how will they know? If we don't tell them, how will they know? How will they know that Jesus saves and Jesus delivers and that Jesus can uh, 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 break the chains of sin that binds you, speak to your troubled soul? How will they know unless we send out the gospel news? Amen. We want to say to uh, those on social media, and those in this audience, we're grateful that you're with us. Uh, amen. I'm happy in my soul. Happy in my soul anyway. Amen. amen. You know, I know sometimes you come to church and uh, life's problems, uh, yeah. uh, they hang over you and uh, 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 you're carrying your burdens in, uh, uh, into church. And uh, it looked like some of us are like that this morning. But I'm happy in the Lord anyway. It really doesn't matter what comes my way today. I'm going to wear a smile, hold my head up high, and say, I am happy in the Lord anyway. Amen. Amen. What you say, Brother John? You just got to let the devil know. Listen, uh, amen. I'm still saved. I'm still saved. You know, uh, I was at a, a, a meeting uh, uh, about a week or two ago, and uh, the brother was preaching, and he said, you know, you have to tell the uh, 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 devil sometimes, bring it on. Just bring it on. I said, sometimes. <laughs> so, sometimes. <laughs> he he going to bring it anyway. <laughs> I wanna, don't want to wake a sleeping giant, but... Amen, amen. But thank God for the grace of God that keeps us victorious. Amen, amen. We're glad to uh, 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 meet with one another on today. And uh, let us bow our heads and look to the Lord in prayer. Our blessed God, we are grateful, dear God, for my God, Lord, your blessings, your love, Lord. We sang the song earlier, Lord, in devotion. Just think about its love. Think about his goodness. Think about his grace uh, that brought us through, Lord, uh, just as high as the heaven above. Uh, so great is the measure of our Father's love. Great is the measure of your love, dear God. Thank you, Lord, for your great uh, love, dear God. Uh, thank you, Lord, for the people of God, Lord, that care for one another, Lord. Uh, thank you, Lord God, for us praying for one another. Uh, thank you, Lord, for us uh, encouraging one another, Lord. Uh, thank you, dear God. God, Lord, for the power of God uh, that keeps us, Lord, in this day and time, dear God. Uh, my God, Lord, in his gospel time go forth. Uh, we pray, God, Lord, that uh, as it goes into, uh, 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 Lord God, different homes, Lord, uh, via, Lord God, social media, radio, dear God. Uh, my God, Lord, wherever it may be, dear God, uh, Lord God, might you find the souls of those uh, that are lost, uh, that need you, dear God, uh, that are seeking you, dear God. My God, as the song says, seeking for me, uh, 
My God, seeking for me. My God, Lord, Father, God, Lord, might you seek out the souls of those. My God, Lord, that are lost, that are tired of sin, Lord, tired of walking, Lord. Father, God, Lord, that path of sin. My God, want deliverance, dear God. Father, God, Lord, save souls today. Reclaim backsliders. Sanctify believers, Lord. Heal bodies, dear God. My God, Lord, unite your people, dear God. My God, that we can be a force in this world. Anoint, dear God, have your way. Father, with the service today, anoint, Lord God, the preacher, songs, my God, that are saying, dear God, my God, Lord, might it be all done for your glory. And we'll give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Uh, before we go any further, I understand uh, there's a song by the Evening Light Brothers, right? All right. You all look like you're ready. Well, come on then. Come on. Amen. Amen. I almost feel like I can be a one man. Well, you can't be one man, church, can you? I feel like running today, y'all. Don't be surprised. You know, this body, it, it, it seems like it just don't want to do what it used to do, Sister Pat. Amen. Come on, bro. I'm like, listen, I'm only 61 years old. How come I can't roll? Don't you be surprised. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. All right. Uh, good morning, saints of God. It's good to be here. And, uh... Uh, it's, it's a it's a pleasure to see all God's people Amen. in a holy place yeah. on the ship of Zion. Amen. And uh, we all continue to make heaven our home. And uh, yes, I thank God for the time when He dealt with my heart. Amen. And uh, told me to come unto Him, all ye the okay. heavy laden, and I give you rest. Yeah. Right, my yoke man. is easy and my burden is light. Yeah. So. You just want to be a blessing to the saints of God, but continue to pray for me, mind, body, and soul. Amen. How do you explain? And how do you describe a love that goes from east to west? Ooh, and run as deep as it is wide. You know all our hopes, know all our hopes, Lord, Lord, you know all our fears, and all our fears, words cannot express the love we feel, but we long for you to hear, so listen to our hearts, oh, and hear our spirits sing. Simple song of praise, praise. Oh, those who have redeemed, we will use the words we know to tell you what an awesome God you are. Words are not enough to tell you about love. So listen to our hearts. Your words can fall like rain, could fall like rain from these lips of mine. These lips of mine. If I had a thousand years, woo, I would still run out of time. So if you listen to our hearts, Lord, please listen. Every beat will say, each beat will say, thank you for the life, and thank you for the truth, and thank you for the way. So listen to our hearts, hear our spirits sing. song of praise of those who have redeemed. We will use the words we know to tell you 
that you sit attentively as uh, the Lord will uh, uh, speak to us uh, through Brother Arnold Sanders. He's an elder here in the, uh, the uh, congregation. So let's uh, 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 hold him up before the Lord, all right? Amen. Let's hold him up. Why don't we receive our brother? Amen. With a hearty amen, all right. They're ready, they're ready. They ready. It's been a while since we heard that. Thank the Lord. We're getting it all back one step at a time. Thank the Lord. It's good to be here. Yeah, I mean it. It's good to be here. It's good to have a mind. Listen, we're doing wrap-up work. You all believe that? You all believe we're doing wrap-up work? This thing is almost over. We need to hold on to faith, saints and continue to believe that these are the last of the last days. Man, people are playing around, they're leaving, they're getting out of God, and they were gonna be caught, the great white throne, the name of that play, right? People were running around, doing what they were doing. Some people were still hypocriting, some people were true, some people were just taking life as it came. And Jesus caught us all in whatever state we were in. And if the, the Bible says in whatever state that is, if you're holy, you'll still be holy. But if you're unholy, he said you're going to get locked just like that. Do you believe these are the last of the last days, saints? Oh, I'm telling you. And I like the song the brothers were just singing, Lord, listen to our heart. When you have devotion, do you ever sing to the Lord? Listen to our heart, Lord. A song... That, that gives him praise right back to him, right? And this morning I was singing to the, uh, you know, I'm going to lift up holy hands in the presence of the Lord. And I just, and the song just repeats, Lord, you're holy. Lord, you're holy. I mean, and God, he'll flood your soul. Oh, yes, it's good to spend time with God, isn't it? Oh, we thank God for that. Let's go to uh, Second uh, Timothy, the third chapter. And we're going to start reading at verse number one, saints. The title is More Signs of the Last Days. More Signs of the Last Days. I, I hope you're not tired of running for Jesus. I like the one answer I just heard, never. That's right. We got to settle it, saints. You're going to be tempted. Things are going to go wrong. We're living this thing called life. Not every day is going to be okay. You know what I say to all that stuff? So what? That ain't got nothing to do with me staying saved or not. Stop, putting, stop letting the devil bargain with you whether you're going to stay saved or not. Stop that. Stop that. Oh, it's going this way. Forget it. Forget what? Forget how he cleaned you and, man, washed us and spent time chiseling the way at our nasty ways and cleaning us up and then turn around, make us a blessing and 
man, bless our life. Hey, you know, we would give up on all that to run back to the devil. No, I'm not going anywhere by the grace of God. How about you? All right. Let's get into it with the time we have. 2 Timothy 3, starting at verse 1, please. This know also. Know this also. That in the last days. In the last days. Perilous times shall come. Does anybody know what perilous means? Very dangerous. Full of high risk. There's a high risk that something dangerous is going to happen. Is, does that describe the time we're living in? Man, we better run for our lives, saints. You know what? How, how should we run for our lives? What would happen if an active shooter came in here now and started shooting? What are you going to do? You're going to stand in front of him and try to negotiate with him. What you going to do? What you going to try to do? Man, you getting out of there. Isn't that right? I might get caught up here. Don't worry, brother. I know we're going to get help. <laughs> You getting out of here, right? That's the type of movement we need for our soul. I mean, we need to run, saints, for our lives. Isn't that right? Young people, specifically young people. Let me tell you, the world and its philosophies, it's changing minds. Most of your peers don't know nothing about Jesus already. They snuffed them out decades ago, and now they don't teach their children. So a lot of your peers know nothing about it. Salvation, what's that? Oh, I know the Salvation Army. They, they know nothing about it. And now the devil is like, the, the light you have, you want to snuff it out. <laughs> now blend in with the world. The world is in lockdown mode. They are done. Do you hear me, saints? The likelihood of you coming back to salvation after you backslide, it almost don't exist. Very, 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 very few people get back. Those who have been around a long time, you know. All right, let's keep going here. Verse 2, for men shall be lovers of their own oh, selves. Oh, dear ones, we're going to spend some time there. But let's go. Covetous. Covetous. Bolsters. Just let her read it. Come on. Proud, blasphemers disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, My Lord. without natural affection. Without unthankful, unthankful. Man, people don't care what you do for them, man. Sometimes you got to come back and say, uh, thank you. Is that right? And then it says, what after unthankful? Unholy. Uh, how about it? This world is, it, um, it has just a uh, amount of holiness left in it. Not much at all. Even among church folk, where you think you should find holiness, it's pretty much gone. Right? All right, come on. Where With, are we, my sister? Where verse, verse three. Verse three. Without natural affection. How about it? Ah, people go right to LGBTQ. It's more than that. Why are you looking at that baby, grown man? Why are you looking at that baby, grown woman? Why, <laughs> man, saints, if we, don't, if we don't see we're in the last of the last days, we are totally blind. And people are still running around out there. There are people backsliding right now, got the same knowledge we have. They are locked out of it. They can no longer understand it. They understood it at one time. It don't even cross their heart. It crosses their mind. It don't cross their heart anymore. Some people are locked. Come on. Truth breakers. Oh, yes. False no. accusers. False accusers. How about that? Come on. Incontinent. Yep. Fierce. Can't be satisfied. Come on. Despisers of those that are good. How about it? Traitor. You stand for good, you are not liked. Okay. Hypocrites, how are you going to make me be okay with abortion? Well, we're done today. We're going to see how that is. How are you going to make me? Look, you may believe in it. You may believe in it. But now you want to write laws and go to work and jobs and all that and make me conform to it. But physicians in residency, this is how it was before they changed this, this law. If you, if you are in medical school, you say, okay, I want to I specialize in OB-GYN. 
and you go to one of these hospitals that re receive federal money, you know what they told you you had to do? To, in order to get board certified, you had to do abortion. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How you going to make me do something like that? How you going to make me kill ch humans and children? That's what you're doing. How you going to make me do that? And then the ones who tried to get out of it, they'll say, okay, then you won't, you, you won't be board certified. Come on. Come on. Despisers of those that are good. Yes. Traitors. Traitors. Petty. High minded. People will trade on you so fast. Don't, don't listen. People know you saved at your job, you know, but when you name the name of Jesus, man, they'll turn on you so fast. Come on. Lovers of pleasures more yes. than lovers of God. That's a big spirit that we all have to fight. Read it. Having a form of godliness. The form, just a form of it now. But, I go to church and all that. We know that. And what? But denying the power of What do you thereof. mean denying the power thereof? I can't live from, say, free from sin. They deny the power. Yeah. Come on. From such, turn away. What did he say? From such, turn away. Read that one more time. From such, turn the away. The ones who are living like this, leave them alone. Let me tell you why, saints. If you think you're strong, you think you're wise, and you think you got all this power and all that, you keep feeding off those people's spirit, it will turn you. Listen, I'll be around you enough to see if you're open to the gospel. And when we're done, you don't want to change? And, and yet, you, somebody tried to challenge me on this, on the way, recently, on the way we walk and talk and live as saints. Man, I said, listen, God, right here, I don't want to be like Peter or somebody pick up a sword and chop ears off. But when you start telling me that the way we live here and the salvation that we live, is something wrong with it, brother, you got to fight on your hands. That's just how it is. But people like that, young people, stay away from them. The world and his ways, stay away from it. I'm telling you right now. So, let's deal with something here. Let's go back here, uh, uh, my sister. Uh, let's see, uh, verse 2. What does that say? For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Let's hold it right there. We don't deal with this spirit this morning. Mm -hmm. Saints, as you know, I'm going to state the obvious. We are living in a time where it is only about me. And that spirit will affect every one of us sitting in here like I'm something special. That spirit will visit us. It'll ask us, why not? Why can't you have and Why are they this toward you and you? And, and God said, that's the problem. I did all this. I sent Jesus so I could get rid of you and your ways. Didn't he do that? But there's something called narcissism. Anybody know what that is? Love, 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 love myself. I love me some me. You ever heard that before? <laughs> man, I, I, man, I, I think I'm the standard. I walk, I talk like I'm the standard. I love me some me, man. You got to understand. Man, I, I, I had a coworker. He said, man, I bring two people to work every day, though he drives by himself. I bring two people to work every day. Me and my ego, man. He sits right there in the car. Every day. <laughs> At least he was uh, 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 bold enough and, and honest enough to express it. But people do it and they don't, they don't express it. Listen, uh, uh, somebody, we just try to correct somebody and find out how protective they are. All right? So, so it goes like this. See, in, in Greek mythology, there's this guy. His name was Narcissus. Narcissus, S-U-S. Man, he looked in a body of water. He looked at a pool of water, Pastor. He looked at, he saw, he saw his reflection, and he fell in love with it. <laughs> fell in love with it. He's like, man, y'all don't get it. That boy's bad. Who? Come here, let me show you. That boy right there. That boy's, man, that boy's bad. I'm going to tell you. 
See, we fall in love with ourselves and we're getting set up for the devil. I want to deal with this a little bit. I want to deal with a few things here. God, help us not to fall in love with ourselves, but seek the will of God. Now, listen, people, I, I don't know if people understand this. It's not your personality, you know. Again, I think I made it really plain that, you know, I'm pretty funny at times. I think I made that plain. Look at you all laughing again. I think, Pastor, come on. You see, you know, he knows. No, no, people, people mistake and call it corny sometimes. They just mistake it. So, <laughs> but you see how it is? Not your personality, but things that, see, God knows our heart. He knows our frame. Things that if I don't get right about me, it'll stray, it'll stray me like Solomon did from God. He said, Solomon, they're they going to mess you up, all those women, and they're going to take you away from me. But notice, he, he didn't take his wisdom. Solomon was a wise man. But that's the problem. He was so wise. Sometimes we get so wise, we can't be told anything. But let's look at some signs of this narcissism. God help us. Mostly speak of yourself your appearance, your talents, and your accomplishments in an exaggerated way, even though you ain't really accomplished much. Man, you ever been around a person? Sister Crystal, listen. Man, I'm going to tell you, I was diagnosed with cancer, and, and, and I'm going, and by the time we're done, we're talking about her new car or her new house. How you turn the camera and say, I'm coming to you for help. And by times, you know, oh, yeah, it's a lot. Ain't got nothing to do with your new house. Yeah, you, you got cancer. It's a lot like my new house. How do we get on your new house? You have to insert yourself because of your lack of self-esteem. You have to, you have to put, you can't, you can't get on the level with a person and let me, let me be a help to them for a chance. But because of your lack of self-esteem, you want to get the upper part. How about the person that needs help? Can you lend yourself just for a few minutes to the person who, who needs help and not insert yourself in it? But people who talk a lot, talk about all the things they've got and the things they've accomplished and all the possessions they have, you know why they keep bringing it up, Brother Sean? Because they're like empty. God help us. <laughs> Some people fantasize. They fantasize their success. They fantasize they have power. Fantasize. They're talking about lovers of your own self. Lovers. These are, these are signs that the professionals say, these are signs of those people who are like this. Man, look, 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 they, they, they exaggerate on their power and their brilliance. You could be in a meeting. <laughs> this has happened to me before. There was an issue in one of our projects years ago. We had to purify a certain protein to, so we can detect disease. Man, they brought people, they had people all through the plant working on it. Then they got somebody from Japan to work on it. They just couldn't get it pure. And, and I joined the group. They said, hey, you, you're a protein biochemist. Why don't you work on it? The first thing, Sister Katie, I did as I prayed. Do you know that God showed me the steps? And we had a huge, no, it ain't over yet. It ain't over yet. We had a big meeting like this, and I had to present I opened up the meeting. I said, the first thing I did was pray. <laughs> People like her. I said, y'all laughing, but I'm serious. <laughs> you give the glory back to God. And when I put that data up, the guy from Japan was sitting right there. He said, do you know, some, uh, uh, weeks later, somebody came to me, Arnold, somebody's walking around taking the credit for the work you did. I said, oh, that's okay. We had, we had what we call red books, where all the experiments go. I said, that's okay, it's in the red book. I'm not worried about it. People exaggerate on their, so, so, so what, what we did, see, and I was talking, they didn't give me no direction. I was talking to Arnold, and then what he did, they said in a way like they gave direction. 
We got to watch those spirit saints. They'll have us claiming things we ain't got. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, uh, lover of self, I got to get some of the credit. Somehow, I got to squeeze my foot. Be careful when we come into Pastor Dukes with our ideas. I, I, was, I, I, was, I was thinking. You can tell when there's a lot of sound to it because here's the thing. This is what I do, Pastor, before I send people to you. I say, listen, here's the question. You got a good idea, but are you willing to do the work? I want the praise, man, but I don't want to Because I'm going to tell you right now, he's looking for people with great ideas and who's willing to. Right, Pastor? Is that accurate? There's a lot of, you know what I mean. He's, hey, I got, I have, I have, I have, what, what, what you got? An idea or you got work? Yeah. Yes, sir. See, I told them they should do that. Did you do it? Oh, come on, saints. Come on, come on. Lovers of ourselves, we want to be praised. Oh, man, what did you do? If I'm real, well, I told them and they did it. <laughs> come on, come on. Right? God, help us. They believe they are superior. Man, and their, their, their personalities are big. They think they have, the, you know what they're loaded with? They're loaded with self-importance. Yeah. To them, they're the creme de la creme. To my lovers of our own self, saints, listen, we're to walk, there's a way to do it. Now, we're not to be rugs and carpets and we're walking on, but listen, God used us, that's good, but you know what he told his servants to do after he used you? Go. Go sit down somewhere. Because you are a what? Unprofitable what? Servant. And you did what? Your reasonable service, what you're supposed to do. Now, at the same time, it's okay for another man to praise you. Don't go around all the way. Yeah, you know, hey, my brother, my sister needs help. Yeah, but did you see how we did? Did you see what I did? How did we get on your subject right. when I'm the one in need? You got me, saints? Yeah. We need to be available to others, not just available to ourselves. Yeah. Last days, last days. We we'll get caught up just like the world. They are all about themselves. We can sit here and be the exact same way. Last days, last days, last days. God help us. You know what people do? who are full of self-importance, you know how they become big in people's eyes? Because they put you down. They start belittling you and your ways and your ability. Man, I can't believe it, man. I've run across people uh, 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 just like that. When I first started on this job 30 years ago, my Lord, I, I will tell you, I, I, was, I was pulling, I was a rookie scientist. And people, I go in the lab, they'll say, oh, I saw that you were talking to so-and-so. You want to be careful of them. Right, right, see, right. because they're, see, man, I'm like, for you to look good, you got to put somebody else down. Saints, don't do it. Is that right? If me looking good equals me putting you down in order for me to, looking, to look good, that's not the spirit of God. Anyway, the only one who look good should be God in our lives. Isn't that right? To God be the glory. Is that right? He, he loaned you an ability. You, it's just borrowed. You just, he just loaned it to you. Isn't that right? So therefore glorify God in, in your what? And which belongs to him. He loaned you an ability. In fact, make sure some people have abilities, you know, and they keep them at home. They don't bring them to the church. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna share this because it, it, myself. It's all in me. It's all myself. I won't use what God gave me for the kingdom. Self, self, self. In the last days, in the last days. I don't know why this just stood out to me. My God, help me. Just me, just me. Lord, help us. You know what else they need? 
You know why people act like that, Brother John? Because they need constant praise. I could be talking, it's like children. We were playing with our nephews and, and, and all that stuff the other day, and, and we, we playing tickle and we running and all this, and the other children went up there, me too. Which is normal for children, because they haven't grown up yet. They're not mature. But we say we're mature. Come on. Me too. I, did, you see what I, did you see what I did? And what the Lord used me to do, I be, be careful. I'll start using it. I'll start claiming it for myself. I'll, listen, I'll, I'll sing when I want to sing. I'll preach when I want to preach. I don't feel like ushering today, Brother Dozier. I'm not ushering today. God gave it to me. God gave me this position. I'll use it how I see fit. I won't say those words, Brother Sean, but I'll certainly act that way. Me, me, myself, in the last days, lovers of self. What do we do when we go home? Are we still connected to the body? Or am I doing my own thing? Uh, I quoted a song by a group uh, Friday. I'm going to quote another song by that group. The devil told Eve she could eat from the tree. She wouldn't surely die. She told Adam, it's all right. So they both took a bite and lost their lives. Now he tells you, do what you want to do. God will understand. So now you feel justified to do your thing on the side and still say amen. Don't you be deceived. <laughs> they say don't you be deceived in the group. Don't you be deceived. You can't do your thing and make it in. That's, what they, that's how they used to write. <laughs> I'm telling you, saints, we get stuck on ourselves in our way, brother, thinking we all right. And we say, what well, we got to be careful of, I, I haven't sinned. And we get the, to the point where we start measuring sin by smoking, drinking, cursing. Man, that stuff been gone. Let's stop it. Man, God dealing with hearts and intents and, and attitudes and the PhD of it. God help us. Man, 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 man. So, so you, you, we understand what's going on, right? Self, our self saints, it, and in some cases just need to be fed. Not, not giving glory to God, giving glory to our own flesh. And our things that we've accomplished, please, my God, help us. Some people feel entitled. They expect others to offer them special favors. You all know that? Expect, they expect it to happen, to offer them special, special favors. Man, and if you don't give it to them, they will go off. Self. Because I'm so big in my sight, you need to humble yourself to me. And in fact, another uh, aspect of this is people who they got a whole lot to say and they need people. Now, let me tell you, there are some people who have big uh, uh, personas and, and big ways about them. And then you know what happens? It's in man to worship. People follow them. Man, they get, a, they get a following because they, they so often so for themselves, but they're big and charismatic and, and, all, and then people start following them. And if you dare, if you dare develop your own thought, you get kicked out the group because you're not feeding the beast. You're not feeding my self-importance. And you're no longer invited to the party. God help us. Self, I got it's got to be fed. The things we had to watch out for, God using somebody. And me, I'm just sitting back. There they go again. There they go again. Look at them. They're over there talking to Pastor Dukes now. They're over there talking to Brother Jeff and Brother Derry. Look at them. They're all in it now. Look at them. Not knowing I have a bad spirit because the Holy Ghost can't get a word in as wise. Not knowing that in the last days, the last thing we need to do is get full of ourselves and start looking at the saints funny. Because God is using them. I'm telling you. 
God, help us to be keen to the voice. Say, some of this stuff we can't see on our own. But the Holy Ghost put us in situation where it comes out. He said, now what you going to do with it? I'm showing you this is in you. What you going to do with it? And we go on like a man who saw himself in the mirror. He saw how he was, made it plain, and straight away he goes away and forget what matter person he is. We don't want to do that, saints. We are living in the last days. More signs, more signs of the last days. I want to deal with one more thought here. Let's turn. Let's, let's, let's go over to Psalms 139, please. I want to deal with one more thought. I'm dealing with the signs of the, the more signs of the last days. These two thoughts may or may not be connected. Let's see. More signs, more signs of the last days. Let me say something to all of us. Uh, Pastor, I believe you were preaching a message a while ago, and uh, they said, I think you quoted something that said, rights, our rights, what we have, what we believe, are like muscles. You have to exercise them. Does that make sense, saints? And if we don't exercise our rights, they get what? Weaker and weaker, and pretty much they go away. Does that make sense? So, saints, us sitting back passively while the world is pushing this agenda, that's not a good position to be in. Is that right? That's not a good position for us to be in. We need to also open our mouth and go right back at it. Amen. The spirit of this world is rolling. And I know some decisions have been made by the Supreme Court and all of this. Hey, that's good. But that's not enough. We need holy people standing for what we believe. Is that right? So what the world does, it takes us step by step. Elder Rosenberg Friday, he, he, when he taught on it, he mentioned something. They did things in by step by step, right? So back in the day, Sister Alice, uh, uh, they said, hey, uh, um, a, a fetus is, is a human, it's life. That's what they said. More signs of the last days. And they said, oh, yeah, that, that's life, so you can't, abortion is death, right? Then they say, okay, how, how, do we, how do we change this? So, where's, where's Brother Jeff? I thought I heard his voice. And I thought, yeah, brother, so way back in the day when we took biology, <laughs> took my first biology class, they had a definition, Pastor, for a cell. What is a cell? What's a cell? They said a cell is the smallest unit of the substance of what? Of life. We weren't even worried about a full embryo being life or not. They said a cell was life. Do you know I recently was looking up the definition of cell? You know what I had a hard time finding? The word life. See how they change, how they change? Let me show you how the world changes. Do you remember the old black and white Frosty the Snowman, the old one? And he, you know, he's hopping along and uh, they say, uh, uh, how, how does it go? They said, uh, uh, Hey, look at Frosty go. Boppity, bop, bop, bop. Hey, look at over the hill. And then they get to the port. They go, happy and gay is he. Now, you, you, you do that now. Some up with Frosty. But the word just meant happy. Jovial. Now, if I come to you, I may, I may offend you. Man, you have such a, a gay way about you. Oh, no, no, no. I mean it the old way. I mean it the old way. <laughs> See how they change? <clears throat> Spirit of this world. I had a hard time finding the word life associated with it. <clears throat> Psalms 139, verse 14. More signs of the last days. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Is that true about us, saints? Yeah. Lord, I praise you. I can tell what you did with these bodies, Lord. You took time. See, we, we get fooled by the, and out of the dust of the ground, look, God did some stuff when he made man. I'm talking about a machine indeed. 
all the way down to, oh, let, 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 let me, when I make this cell, I'm going to put a membrane around it. And we'll look at that cell membrane patch and go, oh, yeah, it's just a boundary. No, 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 no. That membrane maintains the life of that cell. It determines what goes in and out of the cell. It's protected and all the above. Isn't it amazing? And then if we ever study, I can tell you, it would take me about a week to do a lecture on the cell membrane by itself. Forget all the stuff that goes in and out of it. Man, it's amazing what God has done. All the way down to how we burn sugar. It's okay, we're going to... We're gonna we're gonna put sugar and it's gonna insulin is gonna cause it to go inside the cell and what is that what is that sugar gonna be used for? Energy, cause the cell needs what? Energy. Okay, remember that. Come on. I will praise thee. I will praise you, for Lord. For I am fearfully, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Lord, you took made. time when you made us. Come on. Marvelous are thy works. Lord, your works are marvelous. Are, are his works marvelous? Come on. And that my soul knoweth right well. And our soul, see, this is why they're going against the Bible. To, to, to stand for the Bible, that means you got to take this as true. And if you take this, what we're about to read as true, you'll see why abortion is of the devil. Let's read it. Verse 15. My substance. But, but, but let me say this too. Then why is it past media and TV and all of this stuff that when we say this, I thought it was America, that we had our freedom. Okay, how come, I, how come I can't believe that abortion is wrong? How can I, why am I being attacked? It's America. I, I should be able to have my view also, right? You all the ones who came up with the word tolerance. Yeah, yeah, we got to be tolerant. You all are the ones who did that. So shouldn't, you, shouldn't that be tolerance for me also who believes? Isn't that right? No, but what happens is you get crucified, which is the hypocrisy of a lot of this stuff out here. Come on. My substance was not hid from me. Lord, Lord, listen. What I was made of, you got me, saints? Was not hidden from you. When I was made in secret. Look, 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 look. Look, I was made in secret. And now, 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 Lord, uh, people are uh, confused as Alice on on gender. Let me show you what he does. So uh, if you look at the the sex chromosomes in a person, you, in most cases, you have XX or YX. Man, and Pastor, look at this. When, when the cell is developing and is multiplying and it's turning into this, this baby, at some point, the gene, if it's XY, the gene for testosterone turns on and bathes the tissue in testosterone, thus putting it on a course to be called a man, a male. You can try you can try to change it if you want. It still happens. And I'm gonna use Pastor Dukes, what he got, and you the doctors look, they go, oh yeah. Oh yeah. You no questions here. So now they're trying to go all the way back to the beginning of the agenda and say, how you wanna, how you want, how do you wanna assign it? Well, the testosterone already assigned it. They want to change the birth certificate. And before they even put things in the birth certificate, what's the assignment? Okay, so now you knew my substance already, Lord. Saints, we need stuff to fight with. Come on. When I was made in secret. I was made in secret. And curiously wrought and, in and the And like a needle. That rock, it's like a needle. It's like a person sitting down making a garment. Curiously wrought. God put it together, brother, and man trying. They're trying, but there's nothing they can do. It is what it is. Come on. Thine eyes did see my substance. Lord, you already saw who and I was and what I was made of. Yet being unperfect. I wasn't even completely made yet. And in thy book, all my members I wasn't were even finished developing yet, but in your book, What? All my members were written. So, all of my members. Go with me, saints. All of them. And it was, the, you could tell which way you were going to be. God had it already in the book. And all the members were written. Come on. Which in continuance 
were fashioned. They were fashioned. When as yet there was none of them. Man, I wasn't even done yet. Let me say something here. The last few minutes I got here. So a cell, let me tell you, so, so in reproduction, the woman, the female, only can, man can't. They provide the egg, men can't. They can't, they don't have it. If you don't have it, you can't give it. On the other side, there's the sperm. Men, they can contribute that. Women can't do it. Brother, they can't do it. And look, look, the sperm, it hits the egg, and then on the front of the sperm, there's a package of enzymes that when it hits the egg, those enzymes get turned on and it dissolves the membrane of the egg so the sperm can go in. And then that ain't all it does. And then once the sperm goes in, it releases another substance that seals the egg off from any other sperm getting into it. Fearfully, wonderfully made, brother. What's up with you? Come on, saints. Don't be confused. Last days. One, one sperm, one egg, let's go. Then it goes and it forms a cell. The, the smallest unit of the substance of life, brother. Life starts right there. Sister Katie, I have to reach back to the old definitions to find because they're changing it. But it's in the science books already. It's too late. You can change it, but it's in the science books. Sorry. And then life begins. Let me tell you what life is. It's anything that responds to, it grows and develops. Don't, don't, don't do that. After the first cell, it grows and it divides. It, re, it reproduces. That's what it does. It makes, man, it makes tons and tons of cells over, just millions of them. Reproducing, developing. It responds to the environment or to stimuli. Huh. Let me tell you, the mother can determine how it's out. If you don't have, uh, anybody ever heard of folic acid? That's a critical, critical vitamin for the mother to have. If not, the chances of spinal bifida is way up. Gotta have it, gotta have it. It responds to it. And the spinal cord completes itself using that vitamin. Come on, saints. I'm talking about what God did. Come on. Oh, Lord. It responds to his environment. And it has the ability to adapt. It's cold. It's hot. Isn't that right? Now, here's, the, here's, where, here's where it gets an, an embryo. This is what they say, Pastor. Oh, this is the first eight weeks. They say, oh, no, it's not alive. It's, it's not, they say it's not human. So what they did is told people over the years that an embryo is not human. It's not human. Last, signs of the last day. It's not human. And people start, it's not human. It's not human. Just like zombies. And they start eating it. Remember now, we, we should have equal hearing, right? Hey, hey. We shouldn't be cut off for this. We should be able to broadcast this freely because there are some people who believe, there are some people who don't believe. I'm just putting it out there. Only thing is this. This is what I, I thought about the other day. Listen, if you're right, I'm still covered. If what I'm saying is right, you're in trouble. Embryo, they say the first eight weeks, that's not a human. You can abort it, kill it with no conscience. You get no problem. And, a, and an embryo, early stages of development of a multicellular organism. It's just the early stages. He said, before I was complete, Lord, you already knew me and wrote me in a book. That's what the Bible says. Then it goes from embryo to fetus. And the only difference between the embryo and the fetus is the fetus has all the features of a human. Watch this though. It was interesting what I read. They said, now this, this you got you to read this before they erase it out of the books and all of this. They said, look, there's really no distinction 
between a fetus and an embryo. There's really, on the, on the biological side, there's really no distinction. So guess what? It's all human. A human egg and human sperm get together, what you got? Tyrannosaurus Rex? No, you got human. That's what it is. Don't let them deceive you. This world is going away backwards. The la- these are signs, these saints, these are the signs of the la- more signs of the last days. So people in general in the world have eaten of their doctrine, Hollywood and pop culture, and as a result, you have what you have today. So they've shut people's conscience off because most people, a lady just recently passed her in Texas, she got pulled over. She got pulled over. And um, she was in the uh, high occupancy vehicle lane. She's supposed to have two or more people. She's expecting. The cops pulled over. You're the only one in the car? She said, no. Cop was looking. Who else is in here? She said, boom. <laughs> That's a life. <laughs> now they're taking it to court. They're like, wait a minute. Yeah. Oh, oh, man, come on. What? So, cause, cause, wait a minute. If, if somebody murders an ex- expecting mom, you get charged. Which way are we going to do? World, 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 hold on a second. Which way are we going here? Which way are we going? God help us. I'm going to stop it there. More signs. Watch out for selfish, selfishness and don't eat the teaching of the world. Don't do it. It's almost over. Signs, signs of the end. May God continue to help us. God continue to help us. Amen. We thank God for the message this morning. And if the Lord is talking to your heart, man, listen, I have eaten and watched saints. Listen, listen. Some of us can sit right around here. Remember, we're dealing with spirits. It can start making you a little sympathetic. Yeah, I see what they're saying. Human reasoning will kill us. That's human reasoning. Because from a human standpoint, hey, yeah, I, I mean, look, you can understand what people are saying. What about for this situation and that situation? Mm-hmm. I am going to stand with what the Bible says. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Thank the Lord. So those online, anybody who's not saved, how do you know you're not saved? You're committing willful sin. God has a remedy. It is almost over. We implore you, implore you, get your life right with the Lord. Ask the Lord to forgive you of your sins. Ask him to save you. And then you can contact us, those who are struggling. Make sure you contact the ministry. Is that right, saints? So we thank God for the, for, and don't, don't uh, turn off yet. We do have something for you. But uh, as we stand, if anybody wants to be saved, if you want to be saved, you can meet somebody in the prayer room or, Lord, I, I know I'm short. I know I am. Come, here's the altar. The Lord knows our every way. He knows us. Lord, the world, the spirit is worse, pulling me hard, and it's hard to fight. Get your help. Amen? Thank the Lord. So we thank God. Thank God for this part of the service. Those online, please hang on. We have an announcement, but it's about your soul right now. Amen. We're not just doing this to occupy this hour. It's God's work. So God bless you. There are none others to come up. You may be seated. We thank the Lord. Amen. All right. We thank God for the service this morning. And before we uh, go on, we want to see uh, if there are any guests who have come on your own or you're invited. Amen. Yes. All right. What's her name? And All right. Thanks for coming. Good to see you. Sitting behind people. It's hard for me to see. 
Good. If you want to say something, please feel free. And if not, we understand. No problem. Okay. Yes. All right. I saw them come in. Anybody, are you, let the saints see you. Wave your hand. Or, or There you go. Awesome. Yes, please. If you want to say something, feel free. And if not, we, we get it. Yes, ma'am. Sister Deborah. Yes. Oh. Amen. Amen. Yes. God bless you. All right. Oh, no, I worry about that. Okay, that's okay. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. All right, we have a couple of announcements. I know uh, Brother Kenny has one. Sister Donna, do you want him to go first? Or? Okay. Come on, my brother. Come on. Thank you, Lord, for being saved. A wonderful message. Uh, very one. It's really timely what we're going to talk about really briefly. A couple weeks ago, we talked about a. Uh, going back to having Sunday school classes for our children from ages three to 11. And we were gonna start with just once a month. So far, I've gotten three forms. So we wanna know if you want to resume Sunday schools for your children, you have to send the forms in to me or just contact me. Uh, yeah, you can bring your, uh, just don't, don't wanna forget about this. Also, we can bring our niece, nephews, grandchildren, the message really let us know that our children really need to be here. The world is training them to be something totally different than what God wants them to be. And a great opportunity is opening into, uh, for our children, our grandchildren, our nieces and nephews. If we bring our children to Sunday school, we can, we can, get, we can do away with some of that doctrine they're giving to them in the schools. We can tell them about Jesus. We can tell them about Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. We have that opportunity, but we need parents. We need your cooperation. If we get the teachers, we want them to have students to teach. So we're asking you, those who are listening, maybe you have a, a, a child, a son or a daughter, or a relative that can come and join us at Sunday school. We'll welcome you here. This is a good place. We get fed. We get fed and our children get fed. So you can contact me, Kenneth Boyd. That's my first and last name, Kenneth Boyd, 4681 at sbcglobal.net. Or you can text me. I'm, I'm not afraid to give out my phone number, 773-485-2503. Now y'all say it's online. I can always change it if it gets out of whack. <laughs> but I trust that God will allow you all just to text me and tell me, just list the students you will have to attend the, um, the Sunday school classes. Thank you. All right, thank you. 
Thank you, everyone online. God bless you. We'll end that here.